We are back introducing you to Braden Vigers, a high school senior and a state ranked wrestler. The Harker Heights teenager recently learned he has an extremely rare blood condition called aplastic anemia, which means his bone marrow is unable to produce new blood cells. News 10's Madison Herber sat down with the family today to talk about what's ahead in this fight and how their community is fighting right alongside them. At 18 years old, Braden Vigers went from feeling on top of the world to feeling the weight of the world on his shoulders. It's a very rare blood, blood disease, like two to a one million chance of getting it. He went from winning state wrestling matches to being hospital bound because the cells in his body designed to fight illness are actually fighting his bone marrow, and he is losing his immunity because of it. Over the next four to six weeks, we have to make constant trips back to MD Anderson, as well as getting treatments and, and transfusions up in uh, Temple. If the medication route doesn't work, then then they'll progress the, the step forward uh, with the bone marrow transplant. The Vigers say their faith has been their foundation, and even though this fight is putting their foundation on a roller coaster, stays where I feel like I'm really strong in it, and and in, you know I'm good and God's got this and, and it's all going to be great. And then there's days where I'm really mad. Braden says God only sends his strongest soldiers into battle. Hey, I kind of got seated in me that God chose me for this specific reason. Uh, because he knew this was something that was going to bring me to a higher level that I need to be at. And climbing this mountain with them is their community. Friends are constantly filling his hospital rooms. Meredith is a small business owner who is seeing support from other owners across the country. And Jonathan is a firefighter and paramedic in Colleen. On top of getting the time he needs off of work, a program that aims to help firefighter families gifted them a place to stay during treatment. An apartment here in Houston uh, as we need it um, for his outpatient care. The Vigers want to note that Braden may eventually be put on the transplant list, and they stress that if you can, to see if you are a suitable donor, not just for Braden, but for so many others whose lives depend on it. Reporting in Harker Heights, Madison Herber, KWTX News 10. If you would like to help the Vigers during this journey, we do have a link to a GoFundMe page made by a friend hoping to rally some support during this exhausting and expensive battle. That link is up right now on KWTX.com.